Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an On The Fly review for you, and today I'm talking about The Father, which actually came out in theaters this year, but it's nominated for the Oscars for 2020. Um, this movie's directed by Florian Zeller and stars Anthony Hopkins, Olivia Coleman, Olivia Williams, Imogen Poots, and Rufus Sewell. Uh, this is the story of Anthony Hopkins is a engineer and a widower, and uh, he's suffering from rapid Alzheimer's disease. And the whole movie is almost entirely from his perspective as he slowly more and more loses his grip on reality and contact with his family. Uh, that, that just has a premise that sounds like uh, just just a really de de depressing movie. And this is a very, very sad movie. This is a heart-wrenching film of just emotionally draining felt like I needed to take a nap after I saw this thing. Uh, I mean, just, I mean, not because it was boring, but because it was just, uh, like I went to a funeral or something. <laughs> uh, but what's so compelling and brilliant about it is the way it's through Hopkins' uh, perspective. And I think director Zeller did a brilliant job of creating a, a kinetic and atmospheric motion picture here, constantly putting the audience in just as much a state of of confusion as as our main character is uh, like set the set decoration decoration is brilliant in this movie the whole film takes place in a flat but there's not the scene the rooms don't look the same in any two scenes you know sometimes it's it, the rooms actually look smaller and that the chairs are different and there's paintings missing and it's I mean, you could you could pour through this movie, try to deconstruct all the little things that they did with uh, just the sets. It's fascinating stuff, quite frankly, in my opinion. And I love the lighting in this movie. There's always natural light booming in through the windows into every room of this apartment. And, but there's always there's still these shadows in the background where it's like it's still not lighting up the whole room. It's still very dim and dark, like like the mind. Uh, it's just uh, so fucking well made. And then there's this, this non-linear use of the script, almost as if the, the story is unfolding as he's slowly trying to remember and piece together what's happening to him. This was so good. This movie was so goddamn good. I was reminded positively of uh, horror films, uh, in, in, I think, in the influence of how to approach this film. I really think he used horror films big. Movies like uh, Rosemary's Baby. And uh, specifically this movie called, uh, from the Sitsis, I think it's called The Whisperers. And it's about an uh, old lady with Alzheimer's who starts to get tormented by ghosts. And uh, I just, I can't praise this movie enough. This is easily a five-star film. I went into it just, oh, let's get it out of the way. It's the last Best Picture nominee that I haven't seen yet. Uh, and quite frankly, it kind of blew everyone else out of the water. Uh, as I'm sitting right now, I think this movie, The Father, should win the Oscar for Best Picture. And uh, just Hopkins was so, just tour de force. I've criticized him in the past for being an over-actor, and he is, but that doesn't mean he's not great. Uh, and he's just phenomenal in this. Just rip, uh, Like I said, this movie just rip your fucking soul out, man. This is a very powerful motion picture. And the fact that Zeller was able to you know, weave this tapestry of of just compelling, almost horror movie like visuals, with this heartbreaking, um, the human family story, uh, and then brought it all in with no budget, no studio involvement, and under ninety seven minutes. It, it's a fuck. It might this might be a masterpiece as far as technique and execution goes uh this is a great fucking movie five stars easily see anthony hopkins in the father as soon as you get a chance you will not be disappointed i'm jake davis and i'll catch you on the fly